Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are not brewing today from scratch in Pioneer, but we are playing a deck critique by Zimini Pod. If you guys don't know, we're doing $30 deck critiques until the end of the year. So uh, definitely keep that in mind if you guys want to have one of your decks checked out. I, I've been enjoying playing Pioneer, and uh, you can send me Modern, Standard, whatever you guys like. And also, if you want to get one now, and we can do it like when the new Standard set comes out or whatever, that's totally fine too. Just let me know what works for you, and I'll work something out. But today's deck is an Abzan Tokens list. So as you might notice, this has 72 cards and only 20 lands, so we're definitely not done. These are This is the exact list of cards, not the, not the sideboard. But the main deck is the exact list of cards the Minipot sent over, and he said, let's find out. Let's find out what you said, old Zimini. Uh, removal could be better. Sideboard, I honestly don't have a clue. I know it's over the 60-card deck. I just haven't figured out what to cut down, so I figured I'd leave that to you. Oh, MTG Goldfish with the raid. What's up, my dudes? Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. I really appreciate you. And wow, this is this is very fitting that MTG Goldfish ready because we're actually playing a, a pretty sweet brew right now. Okay, so I don't think you need four Dramokas commands, especially with Knight of Autumn. So I'm gonna cut one Dramokas command. I also don't think you need four Assassin's Trophies. I'd probably go down to like two Assassin's Trophies because, well, it's just too many. Zach, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. So <laughs> the rhinos, I bet he would. I bet he would. Oh man, that's good stuff. Um So let me ask you guys something. How come this rhino is like goofy in Disney? Or no, this rhino is like Pluto. But this elephant is like goofy, whereas this elephant's more uh it's 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um it's not personified, but like I can't think of the word. Is it anthropomorphic? Is that the word we're looking for? Yeah, it's anthropomorphized. They've anthropomorphized this elephant, whereas this is just a normal. This is just a normal rhino. So I'd like to know Shut the ins and outs of the the magic system. Oh, twenty do what you feel bucks. That's pretty good. Also, Danny DV with the twenty five bits. Thank you, buddy. You guys are awesome. Twenty five non vintage masters bits. Okay, so we're taking out. We took out one, two, two assassins trophies. I don't actually think you want land or elves. I think your one drops want to be hardened scales or pill collector. You're not ramping into a ton of things. I would also take out two utter end because four mana is just really expensive. I don't know if this Vivian's really fitting for this. This Vivian's great. I'm really a fan of it. <clears throat> I do like venerated loxodon, but I don't think we need it. We might not. We might just not need it. Oh, the mic, Arnold. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. I appreciate you. You are awesome, my dude. Hmm. Three mana Nissa could be good. I could see three mana Nissa making a, making an appearance here. I assume. <clears throat> I assume that's what you're referring to. Probably not this Nissa, but maybe this Nissa. Maybe all the Nissas. Hmm. But I already feel like we have a lot of removal and a lot of, like, two threes to drop on turn two, along with Pelt Collector. I don't necessarily... Thank you! I mean, the, the point is we're also going to be testing this deck a lot. So, like, we can take out Venerated Loxon and be like, well, it'll be really good here. The thing is, your creatures are so big that I feel like you want to be attacking with them. I'm going to take this out. I'm also going to take the Vivian Reed out. I think it's just not where you want to be. I like Knight of... I don't know if we want four Anafenses when she's legendary. I think we can go down to three Anafenses. My problem with Huali's Raptor is it doesn't just make counters on its own. But I guess Anafenza does that. Siege Rhino also doesn't do it. Virtuous Gear Hulk's pretty good. Okay, so let's let's put like two Nissa in. Oh, we also need lands too. This is only 20 lands. Also, you had no Temple Gardens in your main deck. I don't think we want Godless Shrine. I think we want like two Godless Shrines. I also don't like Concealed Courtyard at all. Like, your main color is green. You need green for all of these two drops. You need green for all your three drops. All of your one drops. Double, triple green, triple green, double green, double green, double green. Like you want, you want to have green on turn one. So I think most of your lands should have, should produce or have green. So. I don't know if I like Wally's Raptor, but I think it's, I think it's probably fine. Like it triggers on Pelt Collector. And if you stack them and you can stack them to make Pelt Collector a 2-2 two -two from the, from his ability. And then you can actually proliferate to make it a 3-3. Three -three. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I think Winding Constrictor is just good enough to have. 
So this is 20 lands. What else are we going to add? We have four. Let's uh, Woodland Cemetery. I'm going to put three of these in, and we'll cut one Sunfell Grove, add another forest. This is 23 lands. I feel like we'd want 24 lands. I think we just want another forest. We don't have access to Razor Verge Thicket, so... Grimslayer doesn't get counters, so I don't really care about Grimslayer. Grimslayer, Last Hope doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Like, we're, we're trying to maximize Winding Constrictor, like, while, we're trying to proliferate here, right? And so if Grim, if Grim Flayer got counters, I would be like, okay, that's cool. But also, like, Delirium does not seem super likely. We have three artifacts and four enchantments, and that's pretty much it. We have no sorceries. Everything is instant creature and land, so... Uh, I was actually looking at the three mana so, so that was literally, but things are going too fast, so it's hard to keep up. So two three mana this is 63 cards. We have to make some cuts here. Oh, only three Winding Constrictors in the deck? I think Winding Constrictors actually... No, this guy's over here. I missed him. Okay, I was like, I think this guy's better than uh, Hualli's Raptor. Pilot Evan, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Um... Yeah, I think we can cut one of the Hawali's Raptors. I think this is enough two drops. I can also see cutting one Jeromka's Command. Like, the card's great, but... We gotta make cuts. I cut one Virtuous Gear Hulk, I guess. And I think we'll try it like this and see where we go from here. Alright, so sideboard. Let's put in Rest in Peace. What are some decks we've seen? Oh, uh, Hangerback Walker could be good. Walking Ballistic can be good. But we're not. We're trying not to play like. We're not playing like the. We're not just playing black white, you know, uh, hardened scales here. Like we're trying to like. You know, do other things. Thoughtseize seems okay for the sideboard. Um, what about the combo deck, Damping Sphere. Put a couple damping spheres in. One, two, three. And then like maybe like two Kaya's Wrath or two like I don't know, that doesn't seem great. Maybe two settle. Yeah, I like two settle the wreckage. It saves our guys. Alright, let's try it like this. Bontu's last night in your Kaya's Wrath in your final yeah, Wrath's are real good. Oh yeah, so. Oh, he said it. <laughs> Why did you say don't shoot the messenger? That's <laughs> what does that even mean? All right, let's see how this deck does. You know, if anyone wants to hop in the old, hop in the old Pioneer queue. Oh, they did. Oh, Dalkery, what's up, my dude? Are you watching right now? Do you know what we're playing? Don't do it. I will play first. I will mulligan this hand. I will keep this hand. Oh, I like this. Oh, this hand looks great. Please, oh god. Oh god, here we go. Just don't hate me. Oh Jesus. Oh god, here we go. Keep. Snap it off. Done. Arden Scale Lorino. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. Fascinating. We could just play Winding Constrictor. Let's 
Or we could play Pelt Collector into Winding Constrictor, which would be pretty good. The problem is if we play Snake here and we don't draw land, Pelt Collector doesn't do anything. So I think we just start with Pelt Collector. It also forces them to kill Pelt Collector first if they want to get rid of something. Because we have to figure if we don't draw land next turn, going Winding Constrictor into Pelt Collector does nothing for the Pelt Collector. Whereas going Pelt Collector into Winding Constrictor gives us a much better board. We're not going to be blocking anyway, really. As we will prove by not blocking. Don't post combat, kill my pill. Oh, oh, I see. What up, Cynicalzer? Cynicalzer? Oh. Well then. That's a big boy. Do we have an attack here? That is the question. Yeah, I'm going to wait. We are not the aggressor here. We do have rhinos, but... Uh, they are not in our hand currently. Yep, that guy is fine. You know what? I'll block. I imagine you're a lightning bolt, Thank and you. this is a two for one, so I'm fine with it. Dark Steel Spork, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Where is Seth's beard, and where is Seth? Wow. Wow, I have a beard. We can all have beards. It's not one beard per stream, right? I hope this turns out to be okay. It was just an idea of adding counters everywhere and beating face. I'm a big. I'm a big dumb idiots player at Heartwoods. <laughs> I love big dumb idiots. That's a twofer. Let's. Oh, we're doing so well. Do I want to take two, or do I just want to play with another winding constrictor? No, we want to play. We want to take two and play wine or uh, Anafenza. White and green. Because next turn, we can put counters on lots of things. Oh god, we put like three counters on everything. No, one, two, four counters on everything? Good lord. That's a lot. Okay. Two cards in hand, huh? I mean, getting these guys off the board and making them waste their removal on our creatures is probably more important to me than uh, keeping Anafens alive. That was stupid. <laughs> you make me nervous. <laughs> oh, wow, they just... Oh, Dalkery, come on, my dude. Oh, we could have been hardened scales into snake. That doesn't do much, but then... My concern is not having enough things that get or have counters. My mouse battery is low and it stopped on my creature. Wow. I kind of like Night of Autumn for the life gain. I don't think we're Assassin's Trophying anything here. I don't think we're utter ending anything here. I like Jermoka's Command because it prevents... I think we can just play one settled, like, if they have three dudes out. Jeroka's Command can prevent the damage, and I can also fight their stupid little babies. Their stupid little babies.
Abzan Charm is going to be the nuts in this deck also. What up, Josh? Abzan Charm does seem pretty good. I uh, don't disagree with you. I'm going to keep this hand. We could use some pieces, but we got things going on. So I'm okay with it. I think I made pretty sure you wouldn't hate me. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, you good. Is it is going to be a snake? Oh, it's going to be another... It's going to be another Pelty boy. Enemies MTGO. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, no blocks. I said no blocks. Is that not good enough for you? Light up that stage. Play that Bomac Courier. Oh, another light up the stage. Fascinating. Thank you. Let's play old Pelty Boy. Kadeen, well, look at our sub baby. Look at our sub baby. Love the content. Wish I could catch you more live, but I always get you on the YouTube. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Uh, no attacks. All right, so yeah, they have four cards, a Bomat Courier, and a Shock. They're going to Shock one of these dudes, I would imagine. Yep, there we go. I might just block the Bomat Courier. I feel like when they run into cards, they run into cards, so. Um, Nissa goes to four, we block one. Yeah, I think we're just playing Nissa here. Like a rainbow in the dark. You guys know Rainbow in the Dark. You guys know Dio. <sighs> oh, is this Planeswalker? That's sad. Yeah, we're not going to worry about the tiny gentleman. We're just going to run these siege rhinos out there. Yep. I mean, if their plan is to play a spell and kill this guy, they're gonna, it's they're all gonna deal two damage. So I might as well get the creature that has a two power by default off the board because these guys might lava coil. Okay. They have no cards in hand. Hmm. Ah, and the white. Lava Coil, the Pelt Collector. Oh, the Siege Rhino. Did you draw another removal spell? Okay. Risk 7. I'll just take 7 here. 
Oh, the counters. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I'll take two here. Man, Soul Scar Mage is a real card. I guess it does. Yeah, it probably does matter because three was probably the most we were gonna take. Crack that Bowman Courier, my dude. Let's do it now before the trigger. So they're gonna draw two, but yeah, that's fine. What up, Super Fritz? Sure, double soul scar mage. That's actually pretty good. Feeling better about my life. Top deck city. Counter out those counters. I'll see your counter and counter them. Da, 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 da. Just a hot laser. Oh, that's so sad. Neither of them have counters on them. <laughs> Man, Virgil's Gear Hulk just got cast, and all it did was remove counters. No counters were cast for uh, replaced that day. I'm still gonna play it. Would you like to proliferate? Okay, I'm done. Rami Nap Ruins. Shoot me. I mean, I don't think there's one card they can draw that would kill us here. Oh, yes, there actually is. There's plenty of things that could kill us here. They lightning bolt our face. We take two. Yep, that's six axes. Yep, that was a concern. Okay, so be it. So be it. Thank you. Sarah, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Has anyone brewed a villainous wealth deck for this format? I literally was literally the first deck I brewed for this format. Uh, it was, I mean, it was all right. It was like literally the first week of the format. So like, it was hard to figure anything out. Like, I had a dream last night. I made one and one big, I had an idea for a video form for you. We call it brewing around where someone donates to give you a card or a couple cards. They like, and you literally, I feel like I do this. Don't I do this? Can we draw a, a fat snake? I suppose not.
That's just rude. I'm going to play Anafenza here instead of Knight of Autumn because she's just larger. It's getting a little getting a little annoyed. Okay. That's better. White, black. Okay, this guy's good. What if you do the thing where you take a deck list for a donation, you run it through a few games and make changes to improve? That's a good idea, too. You guys are both have pretty good ideas. I mean, there's never, a, there's never a point where I'm not blocking these guys is really the thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like the Huali's Raptors. Because if you're, like... Oh, Skullcrack. There's not that many creatures that uh, that are putting counters on things. There's Hardened Scales that are doubling the counters. There is Winding Constrictors that's doubling the counters. The only creatures that naturally are giving or getting counters are literally, like, Anafenza and um, the other dude. Pell Collector. I have one card. I'll take three here. Wow. Well, we do get to play Knight of Autumn and gain four. I would love a way to kill this guy, but... Actually, I might just want to kill this because it draws them three cards. I mean, we have to, like, if we go to nine, we have to assume the four life is going to be better than three cards off the top. The problem is they have Raminap Ruins. Okay, that's fine. They either draw a card and we get to keep our knight, or they don't. Yep, all right, cool. Fair trade. Siege Rhino off the top. Vivian Arcbow Ranger. So that goes four, five, six, seven, eight power. Well, I'm I'm trying to play around removal. Nissa gives you more power, but it doesn't give you trample. So they could just block here and take five. Or I guess it would be six, wouldn't it? Four, five, six. Yeah, Nissa might be the play. The thing I like about Nissa though is if we survive next turn, then we get to play and offends. They... If they draw any three mana burn spell though, like three damage burn spell, they just kill us next turn. Uh, you can't, you definitely cannot hit their face with Vivian. I think we're going to do this. The problem is this if they have lightning if they have a lightning bolt in hand or something they can deal 3 to this guy. This guy becomes a 2/3 and then it survives. I, I like my original plan of putting two counters on this guy. So that means they either have to... If they kill this... Yep, this is what I was afraid of. Yeah. I 
feel like this is a mistake. Yep. That's... Oh, interesting. Huh. I was expecting it on the Siege Rhino itself. It wouldn't have... I think we've won. Are they just killing us? No. Okay, I was like, wow, are we dead? Oh, man, I was like, that, the, uh, oh, God. Woo! All right, so, are there, well, let's look up two mana cards that put counters on things. <whistles> Counter. Plus one, plus one. Okay. Uh, white, black, or green. At most, these colors legal in Pioneer. And mana cost two. Okay. 84 cards that have the word 1-1 one, one counter on them. That's crazy. Uh, Johnny's Pride Mate is a thing. Uh, Avatar of Resolute does the same thing as Hualli's Raptor. They're both dependent on us having other creatures with counters. Barkhide Troll is actually interesting. Hmm. Double green is a little rough, but it's not that rough. Literally every one of our lands gives us green except for the two goblet shrines. It's actually not bad. Um, Pollen by Pollen Bridge Road's all right. I'm not super impressed with it. I don't mind. Lotleth Troll seems interesting. Obsessive Skinner might be better than any of those cards because of the Delirium. I mean, like I said, we're probably not likely to get Delirium, but it's a really big upside. Scrounging Bandar is interesting. Two mana for a it comes in battlefield with 2-2 two, two. so it's a 2 mana 2-2 two, two. at the beginning of your upkeep you move any number of 1-1 one, one counters from it onto another target creature so if you draw it in a late game when you have like a hardened scales and a winding constrictor it actually becomes a 4-4 four, four. and then like you can move 3 of its counters onto other creatures and then they all get plus 2 plus 2 that's interesting uh no walking ballista Oh god, I have to sneeze. Oh god, it didn't come out. That was brutal. Siegehorn Ceratops is interesting. It's a 2-2 with Enrage. Whenever it's dealt damage, you put two counters on it. God, I just want to sneeze. Uh, this is a human elf. Yeah, okay, so it's something like Thalia's Lieutenant's not very good. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have great options at two. What does Oath of a Johnny do? Put one kind of each creature you control. Plants are going to cost, cast one. Eh. I mean, isn't Nissa just better? I mean, Nissa puts a counter on each creature you control, but then, like, 
I mean, it actually affects. Yeah, it does other things. No, no one else has suggested Abzan Charm. I mean, there's some other creatures that just have counters. What was the last card I mentioned? There was Bandar, Siegehorn, Ceratops. We have no way to really, like, hit our own Siegehorn, Ceratops. One counter. Actually, Abzan Ascendancy might be insane. Oh, I like Abzan Ascendancy a lot. I like it better than Nissa, to be quite honest. Let's put Charm instead of Utter End. I like that better. What are we replacing these Raptors with? Do you guys want to see a little Bandar? Look at him. Look at this scrounging Bandar. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. The Hardened Scales, it's a 3-3 three, three for 2. It might just be Ballista. I don't know. Ballista might just be too good. Let's put two L's in the word, though. Why is it not? Oh, it's because I have... Okay. I had the... in. Yeah, let's put three of these guys in here. I don't know if the mana base really needs to be changed. We still have... How many white sources? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Black sources we have one, two, three. We take a cemetery out for a sun petal grove, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is eight of these and two godless, 10, 10 white sources. Black sources have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We do have, we have two assassins trophies, Super Fritz. We are Flintstone kids. A million strong and rowing. I can see adding one more godless shrine just because it helps us cast all of these over one forest. All right, let's try that. Is timely reinforcements legal in this format? I doubt it. No, that's sad. It's such a sweet card. Oh, wow. The sand is... You know what? I'll keep it. It's slow, but we got colors. We got things to play. And my module might be too slow. All right, any untapped land lets us play in Offensa next turn. Any holiday plans? Yeah, I'll be actually in Denver for the holidays. So unfortunately, you guys won't be getting a stream from me until like Friday of that week. 
That'll be my Christmas vacation, I guess. Christmas vacation. All right, so bushwhacker, burning tree, bushwhacker, burning tree, bushwhacker. So, so bull. <laughs> cool format. Do you know the Denver area well? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. I know nothing about the Denver area. The only thing I know about Denver is uh, the places I've gone with, like, Katie during my visits there. All right. Well, that was fun. Settle the wreckage. Take out the Abzan charms. Take out the trophies. Bring in settles. Night of Autumn, I guess. I'm not going to be in Thoughtseize here. I'm going to take one bush. What one? Ech. Ech. All right. Well, this hand's bad, too. Uh, this is a keeper, I guess. So we can get rid of... Oh, I'm tempted to get rid of a land here, actually. Turn one scales. Turn two constrictor. Turn three knight. And I think we can probably hit another land. Famous last words. Stone Coil or Serpent actually does seem pretty good. All right. Okay. We did it. We did it, boys. Nope. Don't don't want to white there. Green, black. Okay, so we can go knight, and we can put, like, what, six, four, four, four counters on it, make a six, five? It's pretty good. I live in a tiny town in the mountains, two hours from Denver, I miss the area, I love the cold. Can you, that sounds amazing. A tiny town in the mountains. What's the, can you link me to it on Google, like a Google image search for it so I can see what it looks like? Because that sounds incredible. I know that's probably a weird request, but, like... Interesting. Uh, put a count. Put some counters on it. Here we go. Burning tree. No, four mana. Spellbreaker. I'll block. I'll block, I said. Oh, Jermoka's command is interesting. Let's play this guy. All these dudes are getting so fat. How about a 9-5? It doesn't have trample, but oh well. What up, Bulmog? Oh, wow. Oh, you're going to use that to eat your own... That's going to be gone by then. That's not how mana works. That's not how mana works. Yeah, Abzan Ascendancy is definitely better than, uh, than Nissa here, I think. Because if they kill our snake, we still get a 1-1, one -one, which is pretty cool. Fascinating. Can we kill them? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, yeah, it probably has Gore Clan Rampager. Which is why you didn't attack with Lana War Elf. So I'll just take it.
Yeah, this deck likes Gorklan Rampager. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is 14 if they have two Gorklan Rampagers. That's kind of scary. I haven't seen Embercleave in this deck. I have seen Gorklan Rampager, though. So now they're trying to figure out if it's worth pumping. Nope. Okay. Oh, interesting. All your strength. Hardened scales. Sure. Ain't nobody got time for that. I feel like we can just pass here. Yeah, I don't really want to attack because then like if they have some shenanigans. Yeah, Embercleave is a real a real beast. How do I link a Google Maps? Look, I actually just I would just do a Google image search for like the the area and then just send that to me. I'm I'm honestly just like curious because that sounds like it's a gorgeous place. And like So when I when I drove across the country to Seattle and then I drove across the country back like to Florida, um I realized there was a lot of the US that was actually gorgeous and I just never got to see it. You know, so when someone says like, "Hey, I live in a small town in the mountains." I'm like, "That sounds incredible." I bet your view is amazing, and I'd love to see like what that looks like. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm copying this whole thing and I'm putting it into a, into a web. I'll put it into the internet. Yeah. So this is what I mean. Like they kind of have to attack here, which means you block like this. Because if they have plus four, plus four, these two would trade. So now they have to like do some shenanigans. Oh yes. Let's look at these photos. Oh, there's only like two photos. Oh, there's more. Is it called Rangely? Is it Rangely, Colorado? What happened? What's happening now? Gore Clan Rampage around this idiot? Hmm. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Do they have an enchantment? No. Oh, do they have hexproof? That's pretty good. Um. Okay. Do they have a second one? That'd be brutal. So there's no way we can actually like do anything here, right? So this is a one for one. Yeah, all right. Sure. I'll take two. And we get a we get a spirit. I totally forgot about the spirit, man. That's a good deal. Uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature. Do, 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 do. Okay. 1-1-1. One, one, one. I got 5 on it. Yeah, it's only Hexproof during their turn, but, um... I'm not gonna be killing this guy next turn. I'm gonna actually want to Siege Rhino it, so... Oh man, that's sad. I hate when I draw a card that would be great if I waited, but I'm not going to wait, so. Alright, they don't actually have enough mana or creatures to Embercleave here, so even if they, they have to play like a creature and a land and have it not. And they instead they conceded the game.
Valkyrie, these views are insane. This also looks like the smallest, like like the most the most American like crazy town ever. Not crazy, but like like the most like it's it's crazy American is what I'm trying to say. So you got a bunch of big dumb idiots. So the first game we saw burning, burning, burning into bushwhacker. This game we saw like scavenging ooze, gore clan rampager, and uh, what's that other dude's name? The hexproof gentleman. Girl bat smacker? <laughs> Old Stompy McGillicuddy. Rangely, Colorado's friendliest small town. That's awesome. I'm just Googling, I'm just image mapsing, uh, Google, Google, Google imaging uh, all these Rangely photos. You know what? I'll keep this. Any white source is pretty good. We get to turn two walking ballista with two counters. That's pretty cool. If it didn't have a gold course, a gold court golf course or racing park though, it had one grocery store and one restaurant. Oh my god. That sounds insane. That's exactly the kind of thing I would be thinking because it's just a small little town. White source. Um All right. I'm game. As long as they don't kill me next turn, I'm good. Give me a white source. White source. Here we go. Oh, that's not impressive. Oh. Ballista and to kill both of those guys it seems pretty good. Okay. Wow, that's actually really good, I think. Yeah, we might just play Ballista here for two and then kill both of his elves. I do need a land. I would actually love a land here. My kingdom for a land. You gave me a land. Still need a white source, but we're closer to cast than these gentlemen. Huh. Do we just get it out of their hand? No, I'll take two. Because it doesn't do anything but makes them spend it. They're probably just going to play it. You just play it, right? Why don't you just play it? It's a 4-4. Four, four. Just play the card. Well, that's pretty bad. That's awkwardly bad. White, white, white. Okay. However, next turn we can play uh, Gear Hulk, and that seems pretty good, right? I'm no expert. We're not blocking with our snake, though, so... Yep, just like they're not blocking with their emissary. White land. Any land. Vivian. Watch. It's a mono green card and we still tapped our mana the wrong way. That's pretty funny. That's a six, four, six, six, five, six, seven. That's a 6-7, good buddy. Let's see if they have the double Gore Clan Rampager. We're not going to attack because it's a three-turn clock for us, whereas, like, they could have Gruel, Ram Gruel Spellbreaker. They could have Gore Clan. They could have Land, Spellbreaker, Rampager. I don't, if they had Rampager, I don't know why they just don't play the 4-4. Four, four. Oh, now they've stopped attacking. Land? That I, oh, come on. Any land lets us play this. A white land lets us play any of these. 
Now we're just going to kill this guy. Because getting it off the board means their Gore Clan Rampages are basically blanks in their hand. So. Oh god. Skull Crack? Dramoka's Command. Or uh, Atarka's Command, rather. Wrong dragon. Oh, uh, Michael B. Michael B. is at work. Oh, just a hard cast bushwhacker with no haste. Oh, that does have haste. Oh, could, wait. Does it just? Oh, it just naturally has haste. Sure. Sure. White source. Oh yeah. Okay. I got a five on it. Um, I'm just gonna gain the four here instead of the one, or the three rather. It's worse. It's worse mana usage, but I'd rather go to. Uh, don't have skull crack i guess wow and you have skull crack that's impressive jesus christ yep that's pretty good i guess don't draw another burn spell doesn't gear hulk just win um probably Okay, burning tree into bushwhacker. Fucking Christ, come on, dude. That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. Does bushwhacker just win there? What is the targets going to do? Nothing relevant, right? Yeah, I mean, we threw this game away by not playing the Gear Hulk, I guess, but... Oh, it's just kind of obnoxious. Um... Do we want one more White Source? We have four Sun Petals and four Temple Gardens. And three Goblet Shrines. Theoretically, that should be enough to get one White Source. I feel like that's not... So Gear Hulk would have been six counters on the Snake, and the Snake was, what, a six... The snake was a six, seven, four, five, six counters. Valkyrie, have a good afternoon, buddy. So before we put the before we acted Vivian this turn, the snake was a six seven. So actually it would have been nine ten plus gear hulk, which would have been four, five, six. Yeah, it would have been like fifteen damage. Yeah, I don't know what I was reluctant about there. I think I was at like low life, so I wanted to like play more cautiously but I think that was probably I mean it was definitely incorrect I'm not saying probably incorrect it was definitely incorrect uh siege rhino wouldn't be able to attack so I don't know and by are you guys saying this you mean you mean Vivian right Fashionably late to the party. But we're still going to play you now. Oh, wow. So I like I literally played the one card in my hand that actually doesn't kill them. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. I have like four cards in hand. I play the one card in hand that actually doesn't kill them. That's impressive. But magic's hard. There's a lot going on. I'm chatting with you guys. I'm looking at I'm looking at Rangeley, Colorado over here. So I try not to be too hard on myself. That was a that was I mean that was a um a technical victory, right? In the sense that like we basically won. Oh my. Harden scales into Abzan charm. White, black, green. So charming. 
No, no, it wasn't. What does that mean? Oof. You got it. So I can just go Vivian kill that. Why wasn't it a technical victory? Just give me the technical victory. All right, I'll win this game. Okay, so what did we see? A bunch of nonsense. I don't really even know what to bring in against this deck. All we saw was like Renegade Rally or Questing Behemoth. Questing Beast. What's a Questing Behemoth? Is that a card? What the hell's a Questing Behemoth? I'm Googling it right now. See if that's like from a different game that I just... It doesn't look like it. I think I just made it up. Questing Beast. We saw Questing Beast, Renegade Map, Renegade Rally, or so many Renegades, and a Sylvan Carry added. <sighs> Don't really care about any of those things. I'm not sure Command is good. Bring in Thoughtseize, because maybe they got some things that we want to Thoughtseize. Yeah, I don't want to go ham on revolt triggers though, just because of uh, a renegade rallyer. Um. Yeah, we'll keep this. Turn one scales into turn two constrictor. Probably passing on. We could go tomb into scales. I kind of want thought seize here, but I really don't want to take a million damage for it. So what do? And we're going to take four either way, right? So. Yeah, the possibility of disrupting their whole hand is pretty strong. Especially if they have like Sylvan carry added in bad mana. Tefri, Rogue Refiner, Rogue Refiner. Audric? It's ya boy. Um, I guess we'll get rid of Tefri? Interesting. I would love either a Winding Constrictor or a Pelt Collector next turn. Those would be great. OK. 
Okay, Rogue Refiner is gone. Um, could I just play Abzan Charm here? Like, what do you do? Put two counters on this? That doesn't seem great. We could draw two cards. I think we're just going to Scales and Temple Garden here. I can't see us caring about Trophy here. Like, they're going to attack for three, whatever. If they play Audric here, it's fine. I'm not going to. Yep. Charming Prince. Like, so they have an Audric in here, but none of the creatures they've played has any abilities. So, none of the creatures we saw in the first game did either. Sylvan Carry added, I guess, had Hexproof. Why would you... What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> What in the shit is happening? Explosion expansion? I'm just taking Eldrazi Displacer. One, two, three, four. That's that's weird, man. Yeah, I'll go to eight. What did you play? You played a land, so we know that your your whole hand still. I mean, actually, if they're just playing like a blink deck with displacers and rogue refiners and renegade ralliers and charming princes, actually, the value is not terrible. Can we draw an actual card that I can put on the board? Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three. Anafenda. Okay. So they have no red, so they're just trying to copy a spell with this, I guess. All right, well. Another charming prince. Blink a rogue refiner. Blink blink the other charming prince. And then you get to play Renegade Rallier to get nothing back. Okay. Audric. Okay. You have no abilities, alright, so you guys get nothing. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, so this guy comes back into play. And does the same thing. What the actual shit? Like, if we get... Why would you... Why wouldn't you... I'm just so confused right now. I think I'm having a stroke. Okay, it's fine. Big fat rhino man. Yeah, we don't want to actually auto yield to that because if they have hex proof, I don't want to be like resolved. I always yield to that and offend the trigger. Do, 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 
What if they slapped down Dynavolt Tower? You know, I had not considered that. Are you playing any VMA today? Oh, we were trying to get people to donate for some VNA. VMA. Because they're 25 tickets and that's a lot of money. But I would be I would be fine doing a VMA draft after this if like we can get some some VNA, VMA support. What the shit? So they got rid of what? Uh, Rogue Refiner, so they're going to get a 4 drop, which is going to be Questing Beast. They're going to copy it. Okay. I'm on board with whatever you're doing right now. Was that Family Matters? It was. No. No, it was not. It was Full House. Whenever. Uh, copy. What is, why is this a 4-4? Four, four? Oh, because of the Neo Farm. Sure. Spark Double. I think I'm dying. This is amazing. I have no idea what's happening right now. You gotta be out of Naromihas though, right? Okay, questing beast. Sure. Eyeless sure. And that was cool and all. Oh, did he get haste? What? Well, it's a hell of a top deck. That was pretty cool. I'm going to bring Sell the Wreckage in, guys. It's got the Abzan charm. Like, actually. Take out one Ballista. Anafenza seemed good. Take out a Knight of Autumn. Take out the Knights of Autumn, I guess. They don't have any like instants or, or uh, enchantments or artifacts that we're dealing with here. Uh, snap Keep. I'm actually just going to play Pelt Collector, because if we draw a Winding Constrictor on turn two, it's pretty good. That deck awakened things inside of me. Boy, did it. That's not a that's not a Constrictor. I'm going to play Overgrown Tomb here, so I don't have to take damage later in the game. Oh, and offends on turn three is good. All right, this is a great start. What up, Sammy boy? What I will happen to him is predictability. The milkman, the paper boy. Evening TV. Miss your old familiar friends. Gonna attack for three. Everywhere you look. There's a faith of somebody who needs you. Oh, you're gonna kill my hardened scales, huh? That's cool. Long hair, don't care. I kind of like Walking Bliss to shoot this dude and then attack for four, five, six, eight mana, eight damage. Every everywhere you look, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. there are four. This game's over. Wouldn't have Ballista giving you two counters on the pelt, and then allowed your thought seize as well. I don't know. Maybe I'm just playing magic, man. Yeah, this game's over. Right? We just get rid of Rogue Refiner. And then we, uh, we crush. 
I'm gonna play this in case you wanna pump this guy up. I'm going to pump you up. Okay, they're dead. <laughs> well, that deck was cute. So I guess like, we're technically 3-0 if you, if you don't include our punt from last game. You know what? Here's why I don't play many counter decks. Many decks where it's like, get a 1-1 counter. Because it's hard. That's why. So we went turn 1 Pelt Collector. Turn 2, uh, turn two Hardened Scales. And then we played a Walking Blist on turn 3 with a Thought. We played um, an Offense on turn 3. Is that right? But instead, we could have played Walking Blister for two, make a 2-2 two, two, that would have pumped Pelt Collector to a 3-3. Three, three. So we had an old attack for three, and then we'd have it. I don't know. I mean, I think there's arguments for both. I also wanted to get the NFNs on board because the uh, Graveyard Exiling ability is relevant. You gave me a hard deck? What are you talking about? We're 2-1 two, we're two, with, a, with a technical victory. Zemity Pot, don't even don't apologize. This deck is this deck is great. I've been having a blast. I hope you approve of the changes. Thank oh god, modern affinity. Alpha Wolf, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome. I, I haven't I can't make any more changes yet because we're not like I don't I'm not seeing the shortcomings yet. So I'll just keep running it back. We're gonna play Blade Master 777. Not to be confused. With Blade Master six six six. Oh yeah, we'll keep that. When you're lost out there and you're all alone, guys, I spray painted my Ray Bans. My Wayfarer is white today. So now I have white Wayfarers. Yeah, I might actually like Abrupt Decay over Assassin's Trophy. I feel like it kills most of the things. And then I put tape over like the little relevant parts so it still has like the Ray-Ban logo on there and stuff. They are they are keying out in the background, it's true. How's the deck running? We're 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 technically Technically 3-1 right now. Or 2-1 right now. We lost one round to our own misplay. We had four cards in hand. Only one of those cards would not have won us the game. And that is the one we played. So, you know. Good times. All right, they're ready. Pelty boy. Oh, Pelty boy. Yeah, I guess we'll just play that. Get in there for one. D -d -d Deal with it. Oh god, they're gonna do a thing. Avatar. Y'all ever seen any of them avatars? Do 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 do. Get him. We trade. Trade 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 trade. Okay. Okay, man. Do 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 Steel Leaf Championos Black, White, Green Anafenza Oh Manicor Dryder seems sick. After coming back from a 10 to 15 year hiatus of 
any mechanic I felt was the easiest to wrap my mind around was Plus and Plus Encounters first deck. I'm pretty sure I made those Forgotten Ancient and Sun Scorch. Uh, for Plus and Plus Encounters are cool, but like when they start stacking, it gets confusing. Like if there's like, hey, this creature gets two plus one plus one counters, but then like double that and then add one, you know, everything gets plus one, it gets one more plus one plus, you know, like, but is it good? Is it getting plus one for each plus one plus one counter or is it getting two plus one plus one counter? I don't understand anything. What's happening? Oh God, I'm confused. I don't think I want to play abs in ascendancy yet. I think we can wait. It doesn't increase our clock at all. Also, Mana Gorger Hydra is sick. And maybe that's... Maybe that's a cool card to... Maybe that's a card we put in here. That guy just gets out of hand really fast. Oh, I see. It's old Pelty. Take the modules... Modulus of creature power and toughness, then add that many counters. I'm sorry, what now? Say what now? I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> I'm about to bust. Okay, that's a good one. Give me something to play here that I can play also this with. Well, hey, that's a pretty cool. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is actually, this is fine. This is just fine. That wasn't it. You're right. Where's the justice? Spray with them hot pink, let it dry, then spray them white, then scratch off smell. I actually like that a lot. I was actually thinking of how I could make it, because I don't actually love how, how white they are. Like I, I kinda want I kinda want more of the like the under the underside to show through. I actually think it's a fantastic idea. I'm tempted to just get rid of this guy. I think we're just taking the damage here, though. Yeah, we have seven mana, so we don't have to Assassin's Trophy here. Whereas if we draw, like, two plus one plus... Fucking lands, dude. One, two, eight lands to four spells. Five spells. That's ridiculous. Does anyone block here? Take three, four, five, six, seven. No. No, we don't. They kind of have to block, right? They have a pump spell. Aspect of Hydra. One, two. So if we get rid of this guy. Does this change? Will this go down to three? Oh, it's going to be three still, so it'd still be a five, six. So I think we just have to get rid of the Constrictor. And then I think we take four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. So I guess we're dead then. So 
So if we kill the avatar, they still get plus three, plus three, which makes it a five, six, which is not enough. Oh, boy. Boy, 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 boy. We're getting a one, one out of this trade. This deal. We could just assassin's trophy the snake, but then we just die to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. <laughs> Second hand offense is not going to do it. I mean, we definitely flooded there. I'm going to bring in Jamoka's Command. I assume they're going to have hardened scales. I like Knight of Autumn. I also like Settler Wreckage. Settler Wreckage has been really good so far. I don't like the Assassin's Trophies in here. Winding Constructor is not what I want to take out, though. Abzan Ascendancy has been pretty cool. That's a pretty cool dude. Shut up and take my money. Hmm. Send you a deck. It sucks. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Well, that's pretty awesome. I'm okay with it. Let me write you. I'll, I'll put you on the list. Oh, Gideon in Pioneer. I love it. Dude, you are awesome. Monsonster, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay, we're going to mulligan. I definitely hit it. I really don't want to get screwed into mulliganing twice. Okay. This hand is good. Let's get rid of a Temple Garden. Let's play a Temple Garden. Um, yeah, all right. All right, something good. Not, it's not, it's not bad. And we're guess, I guess we're definitely drawing two here and taking two and taking four more. So we're going to 12. Feels less than ideal. Uh, okay, so let's actually... Maybe we just Abzan Charm the Protector, but we kind of have to hit a land here. So Plus, if we hit a land, we could settle, which seems insane. Yeah, we'll just take five and then two more. It's not a white source. Hmm. Awkward. Yeah, vexing double is probably not legal in Pioneer because it is an Avacyn Restored card. It was actually my preview card when I was with TCG Player. That guy's pretty big. You also have you have seven. Jermoka's command has also not really impressed me. I'm just blocking the biggest dude here. I mean, if you have oh wow. 
You didn't have aspect? I thought we were dead for sure. Okay. <laughs> it's two for one. I kind of just want Barkhide Troll on the deck. 3-3 three, three for two. That, could, a, that bug just flew right in my face. Wow, they didn't exile, I think. Yep, that's pretty good. I think we do want more creatures. I don't know how many creatures we have. But I feel like we definitely want more. Man, they're really uh they're really going to town here. So even if we if we, if we could block we block here, we take five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's game. All right, so let's, let's change it up. I think Jamoka's Command is a cool card. I just don't think it's, I just don't think it's doing it for us. Wow, I don't have any Barkhide Trolls. That's pretty cool. Like, it's just a card that comes into play with a counter, which is super nice. We also don't have a ton of creatures, so... We're gonna have to trim down this side. I like the Settler Wreckage a lot, but I think we need another white source if we're gonna... Keep it. Bark. Barkhide. Barkhide Troll. Absan Charm was nice. Probably cut one night. Probably cut one rest in peace because we still have Anafenza, which also does something. Yeah, I do like Stone Cold Serpent. I just don't know what to add instead. Like, I think Barkhide Troll is just better in a lot of situations. Let's get out of here. Sammy, you talking about Dryad Militant? Because, I mean, that card that card's not great. Like, we're just trying to have counters. Who are you waving to? Wow. Wow. I guess, yeah, we probably could put Knight of Autumn in the sideboard. I kind of just want Barkhide Troll in the... I'm watching this clip right now. I kind of just want Barkhide Troll on the deck. 3-3 three, three for two. That could... <laughs> on the deck. 3-3 three, three wow. for two. That could... <laughs> I look like a legit crazy person in that video. That's amazing. Is the Serpent better than Gearhulk? No, probably not. I can't imagine. Mana Gorger Hydra. That's the one. I can cut a walking ballista for a... Oh, yeah. I'm liking this. When I don't explain that I'm, I'm like, shooing a bug, we'll take out these. We'll take out one Assassin's Trophy. All right. We're going to go... We're going to go one more go. One more college try.
I got some more of those eye steam masks. <laughs> oh god, I haven't even used the one you sent. Wouldn't ooze be on the side of the rest of the piece? Um, yeah, I can get behind that. I think that's a good change because, like, we're focusing on creatures that need counters. Yeah, I like I like rear heads out there, Ben. All right, let's do it. Man, I'm excited for this mana gorger hydra. Yes. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Snap keep. Barky into into Fenzer. Oh, once upon a time? That's a good idea. I don't know why we didn't actually think of that. It hits it hits like Cedrano and Offenza. You can get your winding winding constrictor with it. You can get your virtuous gear hulk with it. That's pretty good. After post board we can actually get like scavenging news and stuff. Night of Autumn. All the versatile one ofs. Like the the bullet creatures. What do you take? You gotta take troll or you take Anafenza? Troll. Sounds good. Sorry, right, we're just gonna draw another one. Wow, that sucks. Nope, it's okay. You drew another legendary creature in your hand that you can't play until next turn, so. Discard a card. Anafenza. How's it gonna be? When you don't know me anymore. Okay. Wow, they're just killing all my things, I guess. Remember how good our, our hand was initially? All right, okay. Oh yeah, you better cycle that canyon slough to, to make sure this 8-8 eight eight doesn't just kill you. Can't fatal push it. You can murderous rider number two it. You can just cast murderous rider, I guess. It's a murderous rider. One, two, three. This adds an extra point this turn and also gives us a spirit. So this is nine, five now, they go to nine and then next turn it's still lethal, so. And there's nothing we're gonna, we're gonna draw that we're gonna be able to not play next turn. Oh, it's not lethal next turn, why isn't it? Hmm. 
Okay. We just win the game. It's pretty good. Well, I knew, yeah, I knew the lifelink. Oh, because there were two three, not two two. That's the only reason. You guys are like, I like that you guys are telling me lifelink as if I didn't know Murder Shredder had lifelink. White seems like it's seemed to go. I don't, well, I don't understand. Why? Take out the Absan charms. Does Murder Shredder have lifelink? Is that why? Is that why it wasn't lethal? No, we accounted for the lifelink and we accounted for two toughness, not three toughness. That was what happened. Actually, maybe Absent Turn is drawing us cards is pretty good. Man, I'm just bad two Thoughtseize. Whatever, Thoughtseize is always good. You know what? I don't love this hand, but I'll keep it because we're on the draw. And I think both of these are very, very good. Oh, we did it. Why would we cut white and go green black? We're playing Abzan. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying right now. I mean, they're probably going to take an offense here, right? It's the only one that triggers the Pelt Collector. Oh, they took Mana Gorger Hydra. Well, I'll be. Fatal Push? No. Oh, ooh I'm just going to play that now, for obvious reasons. Play this guy. Attack for one. You see, Murder Shrider has lifelink, so it's like they had... Uh, it's it's like they had... it's So with 14 life... So it's like they had... So with four, I mean, this, is barely, this is barely English. You can't even troll me correctly. <laughs> uh, but you know what? I appreciate you. Discard a card? Okay. Discard a card? Okay. I think Anifens is better here. I knew we were going to draw land. I was like, oh, I might as well, might as well discard the land. Maybe we'll draw one. This is stupid. Ridiculous nonsense. Yeah, these rumors are just one for ones, right? Like, I guess they mill us, but that doesn't really do anything. Shrieking Affliction. All right. Well, I feel like my clock is a little bit stronger, but we'll see. We can top take a siege rhino. <laughs> we did. We did top deck a siege rhino. All right, well, you're dead on board because I have nine power against your nine life. So let's see if that does anything. Murderous rock. Okay, you did. Oh, you did. I'll take two and then I'll take three. Don't even care. Do they have lifelink? I don't think they have any lifelink. 
All right. I liked this deck. This deck was fun. Haters are going to say you should take the white out. I disagree. I think Anafenza was fantastic. Siege Rhino is always good. Uh, it gives you access to things like Subtle and Knight of Autumn, which are fantastic. Abzan Ascendancy was a super sweet addition, and uh, Abzan Charm is just versatile. So I like this deck a lot. Pot, I hope you had a good time. I hope you got some good ideas out of this bad boy. Um, technically, I think we went 4-1 because we lost to the black-green kind of like mirror match, but then like... The other, the only other match we lost was uh, the one where uh, I played the only card in our hand that would not win us the game. So, uh, magic's good. But yeah, this deck seems good. I actually had a good time. I think uh, I think Anafenza gives you a lot of. It's it's just a really she's just really big. Vivian Arcbow Ranger also really sweet. Mana Gorger Hydra we didn't have a really chance to test, but I don't see how it could be. I don't see how it could be bad. And if it is, you can just put other like Knight of Autumn back in the deck. And, like, another walking blister. Something, like two knights and a walking blister or something. Um, but either way, you definitely have options. Like, there's a, there's a lot of customization that you can do with this deck. But, um, yeah, if you guys want to have your decks critique, definitely shoot me an email at frank at franklaport.com. You can find the information down below in my Twitter profile, my Twitch profile, or my, uh, or my YouTube description below. So check those out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'm having a special, so if you guys want to uh, have any decks critiqued by me, it's 30 bucks until the end of the year. And uh, we can play. We can have. We can. We can check it out. We can check out some Pioneer Brews and see what you guys have in mind. And uh, you can also check out ManaTraders.com with the link money. and promo code in the description. V Video Music Awards bucks, nice, Josh. You are awesome, dude. And um, yeah, so uh, definitely check out those links in in the description below. Cool stuff, Inc. Have a new article go up every Wednesday. You can use your promo code five to get five percent off. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate you.